Sun Keeps Trolling Me Productions presents. Okay, I'm going to start recording here. I just got to think what I'm going to say. Well, guess who's back? Now I know what some of you are saying. Bloody hell. Bloody hell, cool dude Clem, where have you been? Well, I've been busy. Oh, if you're wondering what this thing is, yeah, that's just a microphone. A homemade microphone. Seeing how good this sounds, or how bad this sounds. But yeah, I've just been too busy to make YouTube videos. In fact, I've been so busy with a couple of other projects, I haven't even had time to fart. That's how busy I've been. So anyway, I'm going to take my ugly mug off the screen and go 16x9 and tell you all about it. So, what's been taking up most of my time, and to be honest, most of my sanity, is I've been making a brand new guitar sample library. Now, originally I was just going to sample the notes played around here because I like the way it sounds up here. It doesn't sound all tinny and quacky and whatever else you want to call it. But then I realised if I'm going to release this thing, I'd better record the notes played down here as well. As a matter of fact, I'll just demonstrate it here. So, if I play a note down here... Okay. And I play that same note up here. You can see that although they're both the same note, they sound very different. So I wanted that in my sample library as well. Personally, I like the way they sound played a little bit up the neck. It sounds much more rounder, less shrill and less quacky, you know. And not only that, but I also wanted to sample the different pickup combinations. So there's one that's sampled from the bridge and middle pickup. And there's one that's sampled from the middle and neck pickup. So there's quite a variety in the sounds you can get. Don't know when I'm actually going to release this, but it's going to be in the not too distant future. Another thing I've been sampling from is some of my old VSTs, such as this one here, which has some pretty nice pianos on it. I haven't used this for a while, so it's kind of like meeting an old friend that I haven't seen for a while. The hard part is determining which notes have been recorded, and then of course sampling those. As you can see here, I've made a list of what notes were sampled with a few of the different pianos, and it doesn't seem ordered in any way, it just seems pretty random. Yeah, but I've got that all sorted now, so yeah. Another thing I've been working on is the voice track for the Star Kids Episode 8. Yep, it's finally going to get done. And if you stick around to the end of the video, we'll have a sneak peek of what I've done so far. Although I haven't done any of the animation yet, but I'll probably put up, like, pictures of the characters. Yeah. Is this it? That's a power rotor wrench. This? That's my lunch! Yoink! Um, here you go! That's what I was looking for. See, he knows what's what. Yeah, but you've got so many weird tools that we don't have on Earth, I don't know what anything is. Yeah, so... That's happening. Anyway... With all that said, I think it's time for today's electronics project. So, today's little electronics project, I'm going to be adding a couple of USB sockets to my computer. So, let's just draw up what we've got here. What have we got on the other side of this? Oh, tails. Isn't that a surprise? But like I was saying, I just don't have enough USBs on my computer. So, let's just imagine that this box is my computer. I've got one USB going out to a audio device. I've got another USB going out to video capture device. I've got one USB just connected to a little USB thumb drive. I've got one USB going out to the keyboard, and this is on a extender cable, so yeah, we've got keyboard there, and a space bar, and all the... I'm trying to draw this quickly. 
I know that looks nothing like a keyboard, but bear with me. So, keyboard on an extender cable. I've also got the mouse also on an extender cable. So that's um, one, two, three, four, f one, two, three, four, five USB sockets in use already. And there's a sixth USB socket on the back of that computer. And when I want to use that, if I want to plug in, say, a gamepad, or a camera, or a scanner, or whatever, well, I have to pull the whole computer out and plug that in, because I don't have any spare USB extension cables. Well, I do have one, but it's nowhere near long enough. So, my original plan was to take this, which came out of an old Dell computer, and use this as a USB extension cable. Thing is, this already has the USB um, connector on it, you know, the connector that goes into the motherboard. And on the motherboard, I have a spare USB header, so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to extend these wires, and I'm going to have this end on the end of the bed. Excuse the mess, I haven't had time to tidy being so busy just lately. So this is that other USB extension cable I was talking about, and yeah, it's just way too short. So what I'm going to do is, going to cut it about at the midpoint, make an extension on the extension, and also I'm going to cut this about midpoint as well, and extend those wires too. So I, uh, yeah, I think it's about time to do this. Need to get Mr. Scissors as explaining computers. Dot com would say. Also, some wire so I can make the extension. Seems like pretty good cable. It's nicely shielded. The only downside to this is that it doesn't match the USB colors. So what I'm going to do is. I'm going to use red as red, I'm going to use blue as black, yellow is going to be green, and this one is going to be white. So, first thing, I'm doing, first thing I want to do is just cut off these little oxidized bits, I want to get a nice good solder connection. So I'm going to chop this at its midpoint. This is how I strip my wires. It's probably not the best way to do it, but this is the way I do it. Let's go around with the scissors. Try not to cut into the actual wire itself. Still pretty oxidized. Have they ever heard of oxygen free copper? Well, I'm gonna be back when I've stripped these wires. Okay, I think it's about time to start connecting wires. Oh. Connect one of these. Doesn't really matter which one connects where. I mean, it doesn't matter if I connect this one to this one. Or this one to that one, still gonna work. Ah, would you believe that went right through the wire? So before I solder this up, I just want to see if this heat shrink will actually shrink enough. Because this is the smallest diameter of heat shrink I have. So I've just loosely twisted those two wires together. So if the heat shrink does not shrink enough. I can fix that. Of course. Things would have to go really difficult when I'm trying to film. Don't want to melt any of the insulation. I don't think this is going to shrink enough. I think I'm going to have to rely on 
good old insulation tape here. That's my solder. Okay. It's all four wires soldered. Just put some tape on there. On the camera it looks absolutely rubbish, but on real life it... Honestly, it does look better in real life. Okay. Let's just solder up our shield now. Sticking out. <clears throat> yeah, that should be enough. Just need a little bit there to hold the wires together. And well. Let's see if I can slide some shade shrink over this. I don't think I'm going to stuff that all in there. This is a little bit too hot to hold right now, but let's see if we can do that anyway. Is it going to go in? Is it going to go over all this mess? Just a about. Okay. Let's get that nice and shrunk. I don't want to melt any of the insulation tape. Or any of the insulation on the wire. You know what would be better to do this with? flame, but I don't have a lighter. Just trying to get that to shrink nice and good. Okay. Uh, okay, so we have one extended cable. So the next thing to do is to make sure that this works before I do the other one. So. I've got the end of a USB cable here, and I've got that going to my faulty meter. Currently got the red connected to one end of the multimeter. So, if I probe the red connection on this, and we get a beep, we know we've got continuity. And we do. Let's check the other wires, make sure we haven't got any nasty short circuits. Nothing on the green. Nothing on the green. Nothing on the black. That's good. Right. Let's check the white wire. So we should have a beep when I touch the white, which is right about here. And yes, we do. Let's just check the others. Red. Green. Black. Good. Just how it should be. No beep. Let's check the green wire. Do we have continuity on the green? Yeah, we do. Okay. Let's do black, white, red. No continuity there. So no short circuits. Alright. Let's check the black. Yeah. Don't really need to check all the others because, well, we already know that there's no short circuits. But I'll just do it anyway. Yep, so that's the green, 
white, red, yeah. The black, yeah. So, we know that's good. I just got to do this one now. I'll plug that into the computer and hope it doesn't blow up. Audacitar is recording. Synchronization clap, which I always forget to do. You know, I don't know why in music, when you hear a clap, it sounds like instead of I mean, that's what a clap sounds like. Not or Yeah, but like I was saying. Okay, well, we have one set of extended USB leads. If you're wondering what this one is for, well, that's for Firewire. And, uh, who has a computer that supports that anymore? Right. I've got that mounted there. I know it looks a bit ridiculous with the wires going through there, but... It's the only way I can get this to reach into the computer. Which I'm going to do right now. First of all, just got to turn the computer off. Make sure it's shut down. Any day now. Right. Computer's off. Turn off for the switch. So now I'm going to insert this into that spare USB head and I'll have to do this with the camera off because I need both hands for this so excuse me just a moment well I guess this video will just have to be cut short because this connector will just not fit into this motherboard I thought it would but it doesn't it fit into the other computer and it fit into that Dell but it just doesn't fit onto this so yep that was an entire waste of an afternoon, and I'm sorry I wasted your time with this video. Okay, I've gone and mutilated this connector. So I think the two bits on each end was what was preventing it from going in, so let's try it like this. And if that doesn't work, I'm just going to give up. Well, it's in. I'm not sure if I'm pointing the camera at the right place. Question is, is it going to work? Well, turn the computer on and find out. Hopefully it doesn't fry anything. I don't even know if this is making a connection with the motherboard. Let's hope everything boots up normally. Even though I don't have a solid state hard drive on this, this computer still boots up pretty quick. And yes, I even use this as my oh, my camera's face recognition that works there. I actually recognizes that as a face. We'll see if this actually um help if I was pointing the camera at it, we'll see if this actually does anything. Alright, so I've got this wireless mouse here. Take the thing out. Let's plug that into one of the USBs here and let's see if it actually works. Hey, look at that! Moving the mouse around with it connected into the the receiver connected into that thing, yeah. I just recognized it. Okay, let's try the bottom USB. Has detected that as the mouse as well. So not a failure after all. Although this is purely going to be for mouse and keyboard. Oh, and I forgot to show you that I made an extension on that USB extension lead that I showed earlier. 
There's another one of the UXB. U. I keep saying UXB. I say I mean USB. So on the front here we have one, two, three, four, and five USB ports. I think this has been a good day. The weather's been nice and cloudy, so I haven't had sun distracting me. And yeah. <clears throat> Well, I think that's just about it for now, so um, until next time, goodbye. Now I'm going to leave you with the Star Kids episode 8, what I've done so far. Who are you talking to? No, oh, no one. I'm just dictating, you know, about our space adventures. I'm hoping someday someone will find these and find them interesting and, I don't know, make a movie about it. So you're going to come help in the lab or not? Oh, yeah, come in. Hey, this looks useful. What about this? Is this any good? That's just a toaster, man. Ah, everything here is something else. Hey, where's Red? He was here a minute ago. I don't know. Could be, like, anywhere. Ta-da! What do you think? <laughs> What's with the ancient Roman stuff? What? I feel powerful like this. You can call me Emperor Red. Okay, whatever you say, your highness. I mean, Emperor. Oh, I see he's been at the costumes again. Costumes? Yeah, this place does have everything. I must admit, you do look adorable in that stuff. Even more so. Come on, guys, like, be serious. We need to think of something. But wait, I got it. This ship's pretty big, right? So how about... When everybody knows that we're the good guys, we load up everyone onto this ship, and then we take them to that planet you found. There's no way we could get everyone from all three of your ships in here, man. I know the ship looks big, but it would be like way too hard to fit everyone from just one of your ships in here. Oh, <sighs> this is too slow. They should all be fooled by now. So, it looks like we have a little competition, do we? A 50-50 split is not good enough. Let's see if we can tip the balance a little. Hey, Ricky. I think it's about time we did it. Did what? I know what he means. Oh, my God. He's so cute. Oh, I gotta hug him. Get off me, you freaking weirdo. Hey, what's that all about? I think you scared him. Scared nothing. That kid's weird. Hey, wasn't Jane with us? I'm sure she tagged along, but I haven't seen her anywhere. I saw her and my sister go off together. Probably happened about girly stuff. Yep. Probably talking about absolutely nothing. Yeah, this stuff looks useful and all, but we still need to think of some way of getting everyone to that other planet. We've only got a few hours left. I got it. We teleport everyone to the ship, and I take them to the planet. But, I thought you said there wasn't enough room. Not if we do it a little bit at a time. It's gonna take loads of trips, but I think we can pull it off. Just need some way of getting them here. Oh wait, don't you still have that portal gun? Oh yeah, about that. I lost it on the way back. There was like this little meteorite that came out of nowhere and knocked it right out of my hand. Could be anywhere now. Hey, pass me the quantum atom tunneler. Uh, okay. Is it this thing? No, that's the atom quantizer. Uh, is it this? No, that's the atomizer. Is this it? That's a power rotor wrench. This? That's my lunch. Yoink! Um, here uh, you go. That's what I was looking for. See, he knows what's what. Yeah, but you got so many weird tools that we don't have on Earth. I don't know what anything is. Now what? Someone's outside. I better go answer that. Hello? Really? You are? You don't say. No, this is my sister ship, man. She's letting me use it. Well, yes, he's here. Uh, hold on, I'll go get him. Who was that? I don't know, man, but he, like, totally wants to talk to you. Me? Hello, Clem, mate. Long time no see. 
He's awake! Uh, are you okay? Uh, yeah, I think so. I just had the craziest dream. I dreamed that Nathan was here. That wasn't a dream! What? Uh... What's with him? I don't know. So, not only do we have samples from these two pickups, this guitar sample library I'm doing. This is a guitar sample library that I'm doing. Hello, it's me, Mario. Okay, that's going to be one for the bloopers. <laughs>